Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Naomi, Danny, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, man. Thank you for having us, Pop Turnative. <laughs> Absolutely. Danny, specifically with Mythic Quest, does it sometimes feel like you're working on two shows where in regards it's about video games, but the other side of things, it's not about video games at all. It's about these characters <laughs> and life and growth. Do you ever think about that at all? I do. I love it <laughs> because I'm not a huge gamer, so I would not be equipped to uh, to get super deep into the worlds of, of monetization. Um, but I love the human element of the show. I love that these characters are all flawed, deeply, <laughs> and struggling, um, but also you know, having fun together. So that's that's been really fun to play, and I think that's the cool thing about our show is that we're able to kind of dive into these weird characters. Naomi, this is a big question, but why do we love workplace comedy so much? Like, do you, is there are we going to know the answer to that question? Why you gotta bring me the existential question? I'm sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look, I'll try it. I'll try you. <laughs> I think what we all like, first of all, um, because workplaces really are these families, right? Family and family in the truest sense, meaning you don't get to choose them, who you work yeah. with. And so I think, you know, regardless of where the job is, this idea of people you are forced to work with mm. and make it work with, whether you want to or not, is just so relatable, no matter what you're doing. Absolutely. I'm, that's a great answer. I was, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't like, well, everyone has to work. Yeah. <laughs> I think I set myself up for that one. Now that I think about it. So thanks for the save. I appreciate it. You're um, very welcome. Yeah. Danny, you know, you look season to season. A lot of characters are kind of going through, like you said, they have a lot of flaws. They make decisions that kind of lead to certain things that might or might not be good at everything. What is your mindset specifically going season to season, knowing that like with your character specifically, you're kind of thrown in the fire, so to speak. And like life has changed as your character knows it specifically. Yeah. I think it's nice to have a third season because you, you can settle into your role a little bit more, you know, a little bit more, there are still yeah. questions, you know, uh, but, but you understand now your intentions kind of moving forward. So Brad is coming out of jail. He's starting over <laughs> and we sort of know where Brad uh, goes. We know, we know what he's into. We know that he's always has a scheme. He's three steps ahead. And so it's fun to play that, but also from a different angle now, now he's trying to figure out how does he get back into the system. And also it's fun to play it where everyone one knows exactly what he's up to all the time right now. <laughs> and how does that change your tact, right? How does that change the comedy? Um, that's the, I guess, the fun of a third season is where we have time um, yeah. and we know our characters, right? So we can kind of play, but we're also relaxed. Absolutely. I feel like some characters in the show are very unpredictable too, though, where I think as a viewer, I know yeah. these characters, but I know yeah. nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Um, season three is going to be premiering November 11th on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you both so much for your time. It was so great chatting with you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.